WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this 22nd day of September. My pleasure to be here. I am the host of the, of the uh, Tiger Technicians Hour coming up straight after this Tiger Financial News Network noontime update. I'm also the author of the opening call daily newsletter. We're looking at the Dow down 51 at 27,097. It tried to rally quite strongly today. It was up over 100 points at 27,286. Uh, and then it pulled back. I suspect that there's um, some residual strength here and that we're looking at at least an attempt to get some further upside action. Now, what's also important is that the 26,715 low that was made yesterday, uh, this is a candle that we call in the Chapman Wave methodology, the Roman Chapman Wave Roman candle right here. And I said to subscribers that if there is a move below 26,970 that holds for more than an hour, there's a good chance we're going to go down to the bottom, and that applies to the whole day. So far, we're held above that. The low is at 26,989. So there's a chance that we're going to try to uh, push a little higher, uh, but that weekly chart is suggesting definitely we going from a sell, uh, sell mode in the daily to a sell, at least a sell signal in, in the weekly chart, probably a sell uh, mode by the end of the week. That's going to mean... Uh, further erosion coming up. S&P, S&P right now is trading uh, up seven at 32.88, a little stronger than the Dow. Um, it's going to be important because it made a higher high than yesterday, and that just suggests very strongly that uh, there's there is support in the 32. I'd put it at the 32.58. Uh, 3263 area but most importantly you want to see this go to a higher high than it had today so far 303 3303 you want to see 3310 by by tomorrow that'll say okay this is going to be a rotational correction and we've had the deepest part of it now there should be some um, some some attempt at getting a uh, support. You've got the Qs up 1.57 at 2.69. I mean that was a big move yesterday down to the 2.60.11 uh, uh, low yesterday. So you can see that nine period moving average of 2.72. Some attempt to get there over the next coming days before we start another move down. IWM IWM at this particular point, Russell 2000 retested the 200 period exponential moving average again today. It's trying to make that a support and yesterday gold got smashed to the downside today it's still weak down at four at 1906 i'm gonna have a lot more to discuss i want to go through amazon and other charts plus we want to talk about what do you what happens when you, you, you correctly identify something that you get influenced i'll be back in a moment